Okay, so now in this little clip, I'm going to share a little bit about what has become one of my very favorite plants. The botanical name is Tradescantia pallida. I'm really not sure if that's the correct pronunciation or not. Also, Citcretia pallida. The common names for this plant um, and its siblings or its cousins is Wandering Jew. Wandering Jew comes in varieties, uh, solid green, striped green, uh, tricolor with pink in it. Some have pink or green on the top and pink on the bottom. This one is called Purple Heart and it, this is um, the Phoenix area. I planted these young cuttings in the spring. They grew quite a bit, almost to this size. They've grown in the last week. But anyway, they grew quite a bit, maybe quadrupled in size before summer came on. Uh, so they were rooted and happy. Then in the summer, which we were, you know, peaking at 119 degrees here, they had turned gray, lost their color, closed up. Um, and now over the last couple weeks, we've had about a 20 degree drop in our high temperatures. The leaves have been opening up, the color's been coming back, and then the last few days we've had some rain. We had zero rain at all this summer. Uh, there was a tropical storm that came through and brought some nice rains for us, and these have really opened up. They are happy, happy, happy. Color's coming back. I saw a flower on one of them somewhere. I think it's plant next door. This is such a great plant though. It's great for the Phoenix area. When I read about it online, I read that it's frost tender and needs frost protection. But one of my hobbies is to drive around different neighborhoods and look at plants and people's yards and how they've landscaped them. And I saw this in a lady's yard I stopped, knocked on her door to ask her about the plants in her yard. This was one of them, and it had survived uh, last last spring, winter's frost. We had a couple of frosts in about February, so I thought, all right, well, I'll give it a try, and I planted several cuttings here. I'm just so, so happy with this plant. It's amazing. It's really easy. It's kind of fragile. It's easy for these segments to pop off, but it's not a problem. If you step on it, bump into it, knock one off. Oh look, see it comes up from rhizomes. So it spreads that way. It also can, as these grow out, lay down roots along the segments and spread that way. But I'll just break a piece off. Let's just pretend that I did that accidentally. And we will come over here across the way where I have another one. And this one has a gorgeous little pink flower in it right here. All right. So then I have a pot over here where I collect my little breaks. And all you have to do is that it will root and grow. Now these here are cuttings that I had put in pretty uh, right before summer really started getting unbearable. They did not grow at all and I'm telling you in the last few days with the rain and the cooler temperatures this one here has probably tripled in size and that one has doubled in length. 
This is a wonderful plant for the Phoenix area. Love it, love it, love it. Now, go out, find yourself some. In other climates, you can grow it as a house plant. But here in Zone 9, we can grow it outdoors, and I can grow lots of it as a ground cover. I just love it.